Assalamu alaikum my name is Tamur Sikandar and today we are going to create another android studio tutorial in this tutorial we will be creating a custom toolbar with a custom menu icon some text with an image and also we have six card views design is responsive change it to the small screen so you can scroll it below also we can change it to the smallest screen and you can see the design is pretty responsive okay so this is what we will be creating in this tutorial change it to the tablet also to the nexus 5 okay let's get started open a new project go to the design file and in here i already have a toolbar if you don't know how to create a toolbar you can check the video link is in the description or you can also click on the right top corner so let's remove its background color to transparent now we have to add a menu icon in here so for that we need to add some icons go to the app resource and insert the drawable right click new and search for the batch drawable import this is a plugin if you do not have this option so you can simply go to the settings and in the plugin search for batch drawable import and add this or uh, still if you have facing problems you can check the video link is in the description click on this click on this plus icon to add image it will create all the responsive images click on this menu icon ok ok and you can change name over here you can change the sizes here as well uh, you can mark and unmark the target resolutions and bunch of other things click ok and again you are facing this image and click ok to add the icon search for navigation icon or icon click on this image and choose the menu and click ok ok now we have a menu over here and the next thing we want to add is a text and an image below this toolbar so for that we will simply looking for the text you can grab it over here or insert a component tree ok now i have a text simply change this text to Traveling. we need to add another text and this one will be start a new journey click on the text for editing change its size size will be 30 sp okay so what next is we want to change font family and i will use this place both the text views at one position at the position you want click on one text because we are using the constraint layout to create responsive design so we have to set the constraints uh, if you don't know or if you're new to the constraint layout, you can check the video link is in the description or at the right top corner to create responsive designs using constraint layout. So we need to add constraints 24. Yes, 24 will be good. The second one 16 and with the top zero. Okay, now we have two text. We want to add an image. Grab an image view. Go to the project and select the image. Click OK. Change its size. Add again its constraints to make it responsive we have to add these constraints as well so 
change them to zero and again this one to zero this one to zero and make them mass constraint and also this one to mass constraint this will make our design responsive so we have text and image now we want to add a container for that I will use a linear layout container inside the constraint layout so this is a horizontal linear layout uh, currently it is covering the whole screen it should be 175 dp again add horizontal constraints to make it responsive and put it below this cycle add the top constraint make the width match constraints for the responsiveness okay now we have first block and inside it go to the widgets uh, go to the containers and search for the card view inside the card view if you are seeing something like this the small icon downloadable icon so click on this and wait for the dependencies to add once this icon is gone you can simply drag and drop the card view to use it okay now currently card view is covering the whole screen what we want is to make this card view responsive as well and if we add two to three card views inside this horizontal layout they should not collapse or they should not overlap each other or go away from the screen so for that what we will do is because we are inside the linear layout so linear layout do not use constraints simply click on this card view go to the width and assign it 0 dp and go to the weight search for the layout weight and assign a weight this is a tricky part uh, when you assign a weight to something inside the linear layout you can see our first card view is currently covering the whole screen but when we add another card view inside this linear layout so the first one shrink back and allow the same space to another card view currently you can see we do not have any space around the card views so click on the linear layout go to the search and search for padding assign padding to it and you can see the card views have some space now these two card views are connected so for that we need to add margin to each card view and same with the other card view okay, now we have space you can see their shadow if you want to increase the shadow or decrease the shadow you can change their elevation as well click on the card view and search for Elevation currently is 2 dp. It can reach up to I guess 5 dp. So You can change as per your requirements so Now we have a card view. We want to add something in this card view We can simply drag and drop icon and text, but before that I want to use a relative layout So you can also have some idea about these layouts so now we have a relative layout and we need one text view and one image view for the icon and the first icon will be i guess a man walking change its width okay, inside the relative layout to make things center you can simply write center and you have three options center horizontal center and parent and center vertical so currently we want this to be center horizontal and we add we want to add layout margin margin to top 15 dp and now we have a text text margin top should be 10 dp and we want to place this text 
right below to this image view this second image view so we have to provide this image views id and we also make it center horizontal true now you can see we have an icon and a text simply change its text to change its font family as well click on the text to change its size 14 to 24 okay now we have one card view ready so we will do same thing with another card view text and image go to the project and maybe this one Okay, now we have two card views ready inside the one linear layout so to duplicate them as we want three card views go to the text and click on this linear layout simply press on this minus icon to close this and copy paste then now go to the design and click on this second linear layout drag it from top to below this first layout change or delete the top constraint and now add constraint 0 from this top linear layout the first linear layout click on this image Simply inside the source compact, click on this and change it to another icon. Change the text, and now we want to change it to train, and also change this text to. we can change IDs from the back end which is a simple process go to the text click on bus and change 6 this is a bus and this is a train so make it simply a train and add it here make it seven okay now we have four card views and the last one we need two more still we have some errors so where is the error is here and this one close it and paste the third linear layout again go to the design click on the third linear layout and drag it below now you can see we have a problem over here I'll show you it in a minute so first I need to add constraint 0 from the top okay before uh, going to the problem let's quickly change uh, the IDs and the images go to the text click on this icon and change it to cycling icon make this to cycle and this text will be below the cycle id and make it 8 click on this train change it to 
airplane and airplane this should be below the airplane text and the id will be 9 okay now you can see our design is ready but uh, there is one problem with the design there is no scroll bar over here if the screen size is getting smaller you can see our design is now going away from the screen uh, it is no we cannot basically scroll this design so for that we need a scroll view so to add a scroll view we we are using the constraint layout so our whole design is ready inside constraint layout so what we will do here is go to the top and change this constraint layout to scroll view okay as we all know that our design is inside constraint layout so that's why it is not appearing here so simply from the first view add a constraint layout here the first one with widget dot constraint layout make it match parent the width should be match parent and the height should be match parent and simply closing tag cut this last end body and paste it just above this scroll view and now you can see our design is back as it was but now the thing is it can be scrolled so again change it to the nexus 5 and now you can see a scroll bar now you can see our design is scrolling from top to bottom okay let's go to the design so in here just a quick review we have a toolbar with the custom icon a text with an image and we also created these six card views so that's it for today if you learn something new do not forget to like the video and if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe for more videos and hit the bell icon thank you for watching take care Allah Hafiz